Welcome to Two Minutes with Tubergen. Check out my ads edition. I know, I know. And I got a picture of a chair. Where is this going to go? Is this the chair that you sit on to study or is this the chair you sit on around the kitchen table? More like a classroom chair. Wood chair, nothing really special. Then we get some chairs like this for the classroom. We've kind of seen chairs like this as well. Difference between the last one and this one. Okay, obviously there's some styling. Do you see a little bit of shape there? You see a little bit of curvature there? Huh. And what about that? Now that's just got, that's just cool. I mean, that's just a piece of art, really. Maybe not even a chair. A um, lot of curve in the seat. Did you ever think about that? Did you ever think about why that might be? Well, that's today's point of two for Tubergen. Look at this ancient chair. This is a, this is, I looked up chair antique to get this image. You can see the edges. Um, you can see the edges being worn quite a bit. Um, see the center is a little bit it's got a little bit of curvature to it why is that why is that here look at these chairs these are and if you've ever sat kitchen chairs like this i mean obviously a lot of scroll work going on people cared but look at that seat look at how that's dished out look at that desk chair you're planning on sitting there for a long time and that's dished out and there's a reason for that and there's a method for that Well, I tried to explain the point of all of this during the test, and that was done with question two, Hertz contact. I've got a sphere in contact with a flat plate. The diameter of the sphere is about 20 inches. Here's the weird part. The sphere is very soft compared to the plate. Huh. What do you think I'm getting? I'm showing you pictures of chairs. I got a soft sphere and a hard plate. Huh. The plate is steel with a Poisson's ratio of 0.3, Young's modulus 30E6. The Young's modulus for the sphere is 100 PSI and its Poisson ratio is 0.3. What's the maximum contact pressure? Now, there's nothing specific that should tip you off about that question. I've got a sphere and a flat plate. That's exactly what we've been doing. Even the second part, what's the contact pressure if I change the flat plate into a cup with a radius of curvature of 25 inches? 25 inches. But this has very interesting real world applications and applications that actually paid my mortgage for quite a while, for several years. And that's what I want you to think about. When we look at the contours on these chairs, these are antique chairs and they're made, we didn't have the modern cushioning. We didn't have the upholstered fabrics. We didn't have, some people did, but in general, you were sitting on a wooden chair. And that sculpture that was added to the seat, that pocket for your tush, went a long way towards making a more comfortable surface. Do you remember what your answers were on the test? I don't either. But probably when you get this, you're going to go back and look. But the reality is the difference between a flat plate, between that those materials that I gave you, the difference between the one case and the other case was a factor of three. All we did was add some 25 inch radius. Now really, let's talk about how big is a 25 inch radius because that's actually really, really subtle. Let's take a look at the next picture. So this is what a 25 inch radius cur of curvature looks like on a 16 inch wide chair. That seat at the center is going to drop an inch over an inch and a quarter and that's not what the typical kitchen chair is going to have a typical kitchen chair uh, might have about a half inch of dip or a radius of curvature around um, 50 and that's going to put that in but we could go back to using that hertz calculator and see how much more how much that decreases the pressure on our tissues which that pressure becomes a force, becomes a pain. And I'm not gonna tell you where. The key to all of this is an ancient tool called the ADS. Either it's spelled, I've seen it both ways, A-D-Z or A-D-Z-E. And it is a tool, it's like a chisel for hewing, H-E-W-I-N-G, hewing logs and to cut or to chisel out with a big stroke. And that's how they would sculpt the, butt pocket into the old wooden chairs. 
So there's our lesson for today. That radius of curvature is very important in comfort, in relieving the stress on your tissue. You thought Hertz contact was only about bearings. I want to tell you it's so much bigger than that. So use your ads and save your ads. 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 Ads.